of my baby Got me staring at you So I'm crazy Why you bend that back for me? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm so excited because in today's video, I was tagged by the beautiful Weeza from Weeza's World. I will link her channel down below and she has tagged me to do this video and answer 20 beauty questions so you get to know me a little bit better. So I'm going to put her channel down below and I'm gonna take some other beautiful ladies to do this um, type of video. But what I like to do, not just answer your questions, I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me as well and apply some makeup as I answer these questions about myself. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Now let's get started. So first and foremost, let's prime the face. So if I will not mention the products uh, that I'm using in case I forget, I'll make sure to link them down below. But let's start with the first question. So first I'm gonna prime my face with the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. Now first question is, do you remember your first makeup item? And my first, first, I'm gonna talk about my first high-end makeup item because I don't remember when I first started wearing makeup and uh, anything that I bought from the drugstore. But my first item that I really remember purchasing is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. And I'm actually gonna use this today. This is the one that I remember purchasing and that's my first, first real makeup item that I got. So yeah, that's question number one. Let's go in with a foundation. I'm gonna use the Co Beauty foundation. We're gonna do something very simple today. Question number two. This Describe your perfect favorite mascara. Let me put this foundation on. I'm gonna apply it with the Royal and Langnickel Complexion Brush. My favorite from like high end is the Marc Jacobs Lashed Voluminizing Mascara. Now that's the one that I've tried and I've used in a lot of my videos and I love it because it is not clumpy, it doesn't dry up my lashes and it doesn't flake. I really, really love that mascara. From the drugstore, my favorite is the Maybelline Rocket Vol Volume Express Mascara. I really love that as well for the same reasons and it's also very affordable from the drugstore and that is one of my favorite from the drugstore when it comes to mascara. Number three, what coverage do you prefer from a foundation? Now, when I first started playing with makeup, I really like a full coverage type of look, but I've realized that when I do a full coverage type of look sometimes throughout the day, it kind of starts to look cakey and drying. I have fallen more in, more in love with more of a natural dewy, dewy look. And that's why I'm using all these products that are more natural looking and creates this natural dewy effect on my skin. So that is, yeah, the type of foundation that I prefer. Number four, favorite high-end brand. I have seen a lot of reviews. I've actually purchased some for myself and my favorite favorite that I would like to go into it a little bit more than the products that I have and I will have a video on those products as well are Charlotte Tilbury and Pat McGrath. So if I were to choose one it would be Charlotte Tilbury for sure. So I really enjoy that brand and I want to kind of get more into it. Uh, the products that I purchased so far I really love and that's why I want to I want to purchase a a couple more. I would like to have like a full face of Charlotte Til Tilbury in my collection. That would be amazing. Okay, so next I'm gonna do bronzer. So for bronzer, I'm gonna go with the Wonder Beauty Trip for Two. Now, question number five. High-end brand you would like to try and haven't tried yet. One thing that I really wanna purchase is the uh, Guerlain La Sensiel. I think that's how you say the brand's name. I really wanna try their foundation. I heard it's very beautiful and very natural looking on the skin. It is very expensive. Mm, number, number, number six. Favorite drugstore brand. So I have obviously Co Beauty. I really love Co Beauty, and unfortunately, this you can purchase in Canada from from Shoppers Drug Mart. I will 
link some of the products below that I like really to use this um, brand for complexion. Also NYX, NYX Cosmetics. I love NYX lip glosses. Next, number seven. Do you wear fake eyelashes? Hmm. If you guys have seen my channel, my videos, I never wear fake eyelashes. I never. And not because I don't like how they look or anything like that. I just prefer more of a natural look, number one. And number two, fun fact about me is that I am afraid of anything that goes around my eyes. I'm really scared of putting glue around my lashes and having to attach those to my, I just can't. So yeah, for that reason, I'm not wearing any fake eyelashes. Okay, so let's go into a illuminator. So I'm gonna use the Iconic London Illuminator. This is more darker, but we can make it work. It is very similar to the Co Beauty one that I've been using, as you guys can see, very, very similar. Any makeup, you cannot leave your house without. Yes, I have fallen in love with using foundation, bronzer, and blush. Those are the three that I would love to have on my face before I leave the house. Okay, number nine. First, let's get into the blush. So I'm gonna use again the blush from the Wonder Beauty. Number nine, most cherished beauty product. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys saw my birthday haul. I love the Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury of Flawless Hollywood Filter and also the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. So those two products are so amazing. I love how they look. They look, they're so high end. They're so elegant looking and they're so just beautiful and amazing products to work with. Let's put some on the nose. They are just speechless when you look at them. That's why I chose Charlotte Tilbury as one of my high-end brands that I would like to have like a full face of. But those are the most cherished beauty product in my collection. They are just like, I don't wanna even use them too much so I don't run out of them. I don't wanna by accident drop them because they are just so beautiful packaging, beautiful product, amazing. Okay, number 10. Let me get a drink here. I have my Tim Hortons iced coffee. Number 10, how often do you shop for makeup? Oh, you know, if I can shop for makeup every day, I would, but I have to control myself, of course. Okay, so let's move next to the eyes. So I'm gonna go into this white shade right here. It's called Bare from the nude Huda Beauty Nude Palette from the drugstore, if I can, almost once a week. But if I were to buy from Sephora for high-end makeup, I probably do that once a month and that's because I can actually purchase that online. It gives me the option to do it online. Number 11, what type of product do you buy the most? That's an interesting one because from before quarantine, I used to buy lipsticks, lip gloss, is the most. I really wanna, I need some lip liners now that I think about it. I wanna have more shades of lip liners. But after quarantine, obviously now you have to wear a mask with everything that's going on, so you can't really use lipstick as much, so I don't use much lipstick. Lately, I have been really obsessed with buying bronzers. It seems like whether I go to a drugstore or Sephora, I just like gravitate towards bronzers. Okay, next question. Favorite place to shop for makeup? Okay, so so for drugstore, as you guys know, like I said, I love to shop at Walmart, but I also like to go to Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. We have Shoppers Drug Mart and high end, of course, Sephora is my favorite by far. That's the best place to, to shop for makeup. I just love Sephora. Now I'm going to go into Teddy right here. Ooh, gotta be careful. This is so pigmented. Now top five favorite beauty gurus. Okay, so I started watching Tati Beauty. I love watching Tati Beauty. Uh, my next one that I really enjoy watching, and she's actually from the same province I'm from, from Alberta. She is um, uh, Julia Adams. Another one is um, Paige Coran, of course. Number three, number four, this is not in any preference like order that I prefer. Uh, I love them all the same. Number four is Ali Glynde. And number five is Kelly Stark. So I hope I pronounced all the names correctly, but those are my favorites. Okay, next, do you use eyeshadow primer? 
as you guys know, my favorite, favorite primer. I never used to use eyeshadow primer. I only like, I never even knew to use eyeshadow primer. My favorite thing was to use concealer, set the concealer up with powder and then apply eyeshadow. But my favorite primer, as you guys know, it is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And of course, Paige Gora made me buy it in a way that she talked about it a lot and I fell in love with the product. So um, I purchased it. I have that video up on my channel as well with my review on that product. That is the only eyeshadow primer I'm using. I'm open to trying other primers as well, but it seems like every time I do my makeup, I just gravitate towards that one or mostly a concealer setting with powder and that's it so yeah I do use the primer but just the matte paint pot painterly okay uh, foundation or concealer first okay I always like to use foundation first just like how you guys see me do my makeup all the time I always put my foundation on first and concealer after however if I have a day like I stay at home and I don't feel like doing like a full face putting foundation on I just use a concealer that matches my skin, not too bright, and I'll put it all over my face. I'll put a blush and a little bit of bronzer, and that's my final look for the day. So that's the only time I use concealer only, when I don't have to apply the foundation. So yeah, in this case, foundation first. Okay, I'm gonna go with Charmed. Look at this beautiful, beautiful shade, and kind of apply it in the middle and pull outwards a bit. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go with the shade Crave, which is this this one right here, a beautiful champagne type of shade like this, and we put it in the inner corner. This is so pretty. I love this palette so much. Okay, next question. What do you love about makeup? What can I say? I love everything about makeup how it makes me feel it makes me feel happy it makes me feel relaxed it makes me feel beautiful because of makeup i started this youtube channel and it makes me feel lucky to make absolutely new and beautiful friends like i have made so far and i look forward to making more friends like this it is just amazing to make friends from all over the world all over canada all over us it's just beautiful like i said makeup inspired me to start this beauty channel beauty lifestyle channel because i have some other stuff like my puppy blog and i make puppy vlog and stuff so yeah it's just makeup is just amazing it's very relaxing and calming and just so exciting to see every time a look that you can come up with and create all these beautiful and fun cool looks you know next this is question number 17 so i can't really think of many celebrities but i've always admired and i've always enjoyed watching uh, jennifer aniston i really love love her natural beauty it's just such a glowy golden type of look so i really really love her makeup how it looks on her face all the time and lately i've fallen in love with selena gomez because as you guys know she has the rare beauty product company and i really enjoy her products i have bought some from her brand and my favorite is the foundation so far i really look forward to investing in some of her blushes as well they are just so beautiful and pigmented and some lipsticks as well stay tuned because i have another product from her that i purchased that I will have in my next haul but those are the two celebrities that I really enjoy their makeup all celebrities look obviously wonderful and perfect and just so beautiful but those two I really really like how their makeup looks number 18 oh we're coming towards the end if there was only one brand what would you use so hmm like I said I really really would love to invest in more products from Charlotte Tilbury. So that would be like a high end of makeup I would really love to use. Do you try new skincare or keep your routine? Okay, so let's answer that question right after I do my eyelashes. And for eyelashes, I'm gonna use the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara. I wanna try this because I've been using the Marc Jacobs and Maybelline a lot on my channel and I just want to rotate through my makeup by mascaras because they are all just so beautiful and waiting to be used. Now, as you guys know, I have 
two videos on my channel one for morning routine one for evening and as you guys can tell it's just basically I stick to the same one and I also am very open to trying out new mostly eye creams or serums you know but I pretty much stick to everything the same skincare seems very expensive if I do receive new products in my boxy charm I'm really excited and I try them on right away and I add them to my skincare routine but mostly I stick to the same uh, products that I normally have and I have pretty affordable products mostly from the drugstore and they work really great for my skin and for my skin type which is normal to dry skin. That's my answer to question number 19 and now let's give this face a nice dewy setting mist before we answer question number 20. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. one right here. Question number 20. Hmm, drugstore or high-end. First, let's apply some lipstick. I'm gonna go in with the NYX lip liner quickly. What do you guys think that my answer would be to this question? You know, make sure that you guys comment down below. I would like to know what your guys' favorite drugstore makeup brand is and favorite high-end. I would really, really would love to know. Let's apply the lipstick. I'm going in with Maybelline right here. So pretty. Okay, so my final answer is as much, as much as I love drugstore makeup and enjoy a lot of drugstore products, I really, really love high-end products. So high-end products are really my favorite makeup products to play with. They're just so beautiful. I've come across uh, over so many beautiful brands. But like I said, I, I really enjoy drugstore makeup. I really enjoy affordable makeup because that's what most of us use on a daily basis. My preference is if I could afford and spend a little bit more, then I really, really would love to go to Sephora or do an online purchase from Sephora and buy some high-end products. So yeah, those are my 20 questions. I really hope that answering all these questions for you guys, it has helped to get to know me a little bit better and thank you so much Wiza for tagging me in this video I'll make sure to take some other people down below make sure you check everyone's channels in my description box I love you guys if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing it would mean the world to me make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next one love you guys bye oh my baby got me staring at you so I'm crazy won't you bend that back for me? We won't stop.